Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art and welcome to my new daily painting series. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I post a new video. All right, I'm gonna be working on mineral paper. So again, mineral paper is made from rocks, not trees. It's water-based, um, or not water-based, it's for water-based materials um, or dry media really, but it's a bright white vellum surface, it's acid-free, um, I happen to really enjoy this paper, but it's really thin, really delicate. So if you do purchase it, um, just beware that it, you need to be gentle with it. Um, and then for colors, I'm going to be using um, Copic inks today. I'm going to use BG99, E44, and then E51. At least I think. If I add anything, I'll let you know. And then I'm probably going to be using the Tim Holtz alloy in foundry because this has a little bit of, like it's not a true silver. There's a little bit of like, I'm guessing bronze. Um, Cause it kind of has like this brownish kind of earthy shimmer to it. So I happen to like it. And then for depth and dimension, if I feel like it, maybe some W10 from Copic, I don't have that close by, but I tend to gravitate towards that. So I'm sure I will find it and use it at some point. All my inks are everywhere. So it's a disaster on this tabletop, but we'll find it if I need it. And I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna be wearing a mask for most of the time. So I may come back and edit this and add in a few things and tidbits and tips as we go along. So thanks for joining. Let's dig in.
probably my favorite part. I ended up needing to bring in that fourth color. So I came in with the E41 Pearl White. So it's a lighter shade of the E44 clay. So like it just offered some of that tonal dimension. I never did gravitate towards that W10 that I like to use. I think the green just added enough depth. I also brought in some of the T-Rex Pure White. Um, in addition to the T-Rex blending solution and of course my trusty 91% ISO was used quite a bit in there. Um, so that kind of rounds out all of the colors. I used the Air Blaster to move the ink around, which is also um, kind of my normal go-to. And then um, brought in a traditional paintbrush, which is not usually a go-to. Usually I like to use the silicone brushes. Today I brought in this. Um, just as a means to kind of move around that ink color profile stayed pretty neutral, but this, um, what is it? E51. Yep. E51 milky white has a, a very orange feel to it for an earth tone, which brings a nice balance to the greens because... Where is my trusty color wheel? I know it's around here somewhere. But my... All right, so I found the trusty color wheel. So when you think about blue-green, I mean, granted, not right. This is a little closer to blue-green, but because BG99 is here and you kind of have orange, red-orange is almost um, a compliment. So I consider these pretty close in terms of a compliment, which is why they work together so well. And of course, you know, brown being more of a value, I guess. I, in my opinion, I consider brown to kind of be a value, a value-ish maybe, I don't know. Um, but that's why it all kind of works cohesively. Um, in terms of composition, the movement, I would say like the focus for me, definitely like my eye is immediately drawn to this region and then it kind of goes out and it kind of has this movement of it moving around and that's why the composition works well. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's meet up again.